Andrew Moore Crispin here at CTIA 2010. Bumped into my friend Anand, who has Windows Phone 7 Series. Did I get it right? That's right. Windows Phone 7 Series. So this is going to be the new mobile phone operating system coming from Microsoft. Right. Why don't you tell us a little, little bit about this guy that you have in your hand? I understand I'm not yep. allowed to actually touch it. I just touched it. Ah, uh, you I just touched, touched it. it. I won. Yeah. He so won. let's have a look at this guy. Uh, sure, yeah. So what we have here is uh, prototype hardware. And I can talk to you a little bit about the actual on deck experience and uh, uh, starting with the start experience we actually see Please, on the yeah. screen here. So these different squares that you see here in blue are what we call tiles or live tiles. Okay. And uh, the, the idea here is for you to get information quickly and easily and then for you to dive into the actual experience where you can get more information if you so choose. So for example, you see this uh, kind of animated tile here called people. If I were to click on that tile, what's going to happen in a second is it's going to take me into the people hub. And inside of this hub, I get a view of the contacts that I've been in touch with recently. And I can kind of uh, pan to the right here, and I can get a, a list of all the contacts that I have on my phone, all the people that I'm regularly in touch with. So it looks like the interface has been inspired a bit by the Zune HD. Uh, correct, yeah. So some of, some of the elements have been borrowed with Zune HD, which has been a very popular uh, consumer focus nice experience. Interface. I like that, yeah. yeah. And uh, as far as being able to uh, uh, provide various kinds of information for your contacts and being able to kind of, in a consolidated fashion, see that on your phone, those are some of the experiences that you really worked on bringing over to Windows Phone 7 series. Right. So let's uh, let's go back to the home screen then. The, yeah. What is it? The start screen. Correct. Yeah. Let's have a quick look at that. So what what else do we have here? Like let's jump into some uh, some other kind of fun functions and features. Sure. Yeah. So from within here, we can, uh, for example, dive into our calendar. So obviously, being able to communicate with your with your friends and family is very important. But also being able to manage your calendar in various fashion is also is also pretty key. And being able to bring in either your home calendar or your work calendar and getting a consolidated view of that. Is, is also very important. So what we see here is kind of the calendar view. Again, being set up for demo purposes, we don't have a lot of entries in here per se right now, but I can see it's in kind of a demo view format, uh, or rather day format, or just kind of the agenda as it pertains to just today. Right. And I can add more calendars if I so choose. Uh, clicking on this will help me uh, kind of add more settings or manage my calendars in easy format so on and so forth. So I saw an Xbox Live tile on there. I guess the idea is we're now able to kind of link up with our Xbox Live profile. Correct. What are yeah. some of the other cool features? I know you're one of the yeah. very few people that is allowed to actually walk around with one of these in your pocket. So what's, what's one of your favorite things here? Uh, personally, my favorite feature is the Zoom experience on the phone. So uh, again, just have a very simple and, and naive dream on being able to have being able to have a single device will help me manage my media and, and talk to my phone. And I know we've come a long way since uh, having this dream several years ago with uh, several other devices, but the Zune experience is one that I really covet and one that I'm really excited about. So let's now dive into the Zune experience. So uh, and this is the Zune player itself. I, I can get a history of all the songs that I may have or I may have been uh, playing recently. Keep panning to the keep panning to the right, and I get uh, some albums that are new that I can find to the Zune marketplace. And uh, then yeah, I can come back into my history or I can just go in and say, hey, let's just have a look at uh, all the music that I have in here and start playing it through there. So I can now select a specific uh, song or an album. I can even start to preview it right from within here. So personally, this is one of my uh, favorite features on the right. phone, the Zoom experience itself. The whole thing is pretty slick. So yeah. do you know when we're going to be seeing this coming to market? Yeah, we'll have uh, devices out through our carriers in the holiday season of 2010. Holiday season, so we'll look yeah. forward to that. And do we know? Do, you, do we have any idea how many uh, kind of how many hound sets are going to be running this around that se the holiday season 2010? Uh, I don't have a specific number to share with you at this point, but we're working with several Hanson manufacturers out there today. Uh, LG, Samsung, Asus, uh, just to name a few, and we'll have devices that they'll be shipping that then uh, they'll be selling to our carrier partners. We'll have it available through our carriers in the holiday season. Okay, cool. So where are we going for more information on Windows Phone 7 Series? Exactly that. So you go to windowsphone7series.com. You can get all the information you need. In fact, there's even a, a demo that you can test drive on the website itself. Very cool. And as always, hit up the show notes on butterscotch.com for links and all the details that we talked about here today. Anand, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.